Thanks for staying with us. The governor of Abia State, Alex Oti, has assured that his administration is committed to addressing the challenges confronting the state. He stated this at the Seventh-day Adventist Church in Aba after the Supreme Court affirmed his victory in the governorship election. Inena Gabriel has more in this report. Arriving Aba, the commercial nerve center, the governor of Abia State, was greeted by an excited crowd at this victory rally. They are happy with the reaffirmation of Mr. Oti as their governor by the Supreme Court. And then he moved to this church at Ayaba Umeze, where he gave God thanks for giving him victory. Now that the storm is over, we will actually invite people as time goes on to come and see at the church. Power belongs to God, anyhow you can do And in his own time, he makes a better gift. In his sermon entitled, Chosen for Mission, Embracing Unity and Purposeful Year, the clergyman emphasized that the lives of Christians should convey a meaningful message to the world. It is a separate commitment, aligning our hearts with the truth revealed in God's word and echoing through the honor of theological art. Because of prayers and everything we did, God finally answered the Abians. Let's wait it really started good. If you see, within seven months, we have been getting their salaries as at when you, they will pay pensions, and then um, all the roads, there's no power in Abia State. The victory of uh, Governor Alex Oti to Abians is a victory for uh, liberation of Abia. We're expecting him to do more better than what we've been seeing from other uh, governments that have uh, served Abians. Governor Oti wants residents to sustain their prayers and support for his administration. Nena Gabriel, TVC News, Abba. Well, Governor of Ogun State, Dakwa Biodu, and his Kogi State counterpart, Yahaya Be.